Hello there, Sagittarius. So welcome to your May reading. Um, I've explained to the other signs why I do these readings, and I feel like it's just good to do for the... Uh, we're halfway through the year, okay? And um, this is a, a playing card deck that I got. I, I've had it for quite some time. And uh, let me see if... It's called the Dragon Age Inquisition. So I feel like you might like this deck. So I'm not reading the actual, you know, cards. I'm reading the pictures, okay? And I use this to complement the, um, the traditional tarot readings. So this is the card that really concerned me because I feel like the message based on the tarot basically indicates that you cannot help other people until you help yourself first. And when you are suffering from, you know, physical, physical like symptoms, physical ailments, when you are suffering spiritually and emotionally, you're not in the best position to help other people. Okay, so you need to focus on yourself. You need to take care of yourself first before you can take care of other people. So that was the message overall in the tarot portion. But this is something that runs a little bit deeper. And let me just talk about, you know, the, the, the picture. This is somebody that's very hurt, right? And you can tell that the, uh, the mouth is covered up. So on the one hand, I feel like you, you, you have dealt with a lot of pain. And I feel that it could be physical in terms of, you know, swords. It could be something like emotional in terms of feeling betrayed. It could also be like um, dealing with a lot of disappointment where we, things did not go our way. But either way, there, there's a lot of frustration. There's a lot of pain in this um, card. And the fact that the mouth is covered up basically means that you have never talked about these pains to other people. You were very alone going through it. You might have also experienced it at a very young age when you couldn't make sense of it. There might have been fear for retaliation for whatever reason. So you never told anybody about it. So I'm seeing, honestly, there's a lot of things here that screams to me abuse. Verbal abuse, physical abuse, sexual, whatever the situation is. And uh, I feel that you've lived with, you know, you, you, you've lived with the pain for quite some time to the point where um, it becomes like the new normal, right? And so this next card that's coming through basically indicates to me like trapped energy, okay? So this is sort of like um, we're trying to live our lives based on the constraints, some, some physical, some external constraints, and uh, if you, you see this person is kind of like behind that fence or in front of the fence. But it's almost like trapped energy. Energy needs to go somewhere. So if there has been a lot of trauma, it needs to be talked about. It needs to be resolved. It needs to be healed. Because that energy, when it's trapped within you, it can cause a lot of damage. Emotionally, even on a molecular level. Because energy needs an escape. It needs an outlet. It needs to go somewhere. And so if you're keeping uh, secrets, if you're keeping mum about things that have been very difficult to deal with, I, I feel like you need to find an outlet for that and try to do it soon, okay? Um, as a fire sign, a lot of the times too, and uh, you, can, you guys can let me know if this applies to you, okay? Um, there are a lot of nightmares. If you've been keeping things in, a lot of nightmares, a lot of like... Um, I, I'm sensing like, you know, night terrors. I'm also sensing as well, you're very prone to fevers. You, you tend to, you know, have a lot of fevers. But the good news is that, like, for example, if you have an inflammation, if you have like um, some type of, you know, like, um, I, I guess like if, if you're about to get sick, right, and I feel like your body fevers over, and then the next day you feel great again. So I feel like that's your, your body's defense mechanism, okay? I, I feel that you're being sheltered. You're being protected very strongly and very, in a very divine way. However, protection protects us from things that um, spiritual, spiritual protection helps us from, uh, protects us from things that I, I feel, you know, like once again, I, I mentioned this with Pisces. Um, so... The, the message is this, okay? You're, you're given the life that you're given because you're strong enough to live it.
So I feel like in a way, spiritual protection protects you from things that they feel might not be, um, that you're, you're not um, capable of handling at this present moment on top of everything else that's happening in your life, right? And so spiritual uh, protection is there on a need to, um, it's like on a, a specific cases, okay? And it's there to help you, but it's not something that you can fall back on and it's not something that you can rely on and make reckless decisions, right? And so I feel like there's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of trauma and it needs an outlet because I feel that you might be prone to night terrors if these things are not reconciled. You might be prone to fevers if you've experienced that recently Breaking out in highs, breaking out in fevers, breaking out, like having a lot of um, weird skin conditions happening to you as a result of keeping so many things in. So it, it's going to, you know, energy needs to find an outlet. Otherwise, it's going to manifest in physical symptoms. And the first sign of manifestation, I feel, is through the skin, okay? And so having said that, let me just focus on the main message here through the terror uh, through the tarot, excuse me. So going back, I feel night terror here. So let me just show you this card and then I'll talk about the tarot, okay? So this is like night terror. This is like having a lot of restless energy pent up at night. So you're very prone to blisters, fever, inflammations, etc. So here's the thing. You have a really big heart, Sagittarius. You have a really big heart. And uh, you have a, thankfully, you have a really, really happy-go-lucky attitude. And so you don't plan things out, you know, like you, you do things like spur of the moment. And you do things in a very, um, I feel like you're, you're guided by your moral compass to do the right thing and to be exactly where you need to be. Okay, so I feel like life for you is not all about planning. It's about, you know, being spontaneous and taking opportunities when they come in and doing so in a very um, lighthearted, happy-go-lucky manner. And because you're so optimistic, things always work out. You know, things always work out. And so I feel because of that, you overestimate your strength and you overestimate uh, your capability sometimes. And so my advice here is we need to make sure, we need to make sure, you know, that uh, physically that you're in best shape, mentally you're in best shape so that you can help other people, okay? So this is kind of like spiritual renewal, spiritual cleansing, emotional renewal, emotional cleansing. So a lot of healing needs to happen from your end. I feel some of you are dealing with some physical pains right now and you need to get that uh, taken care of, okay? So you can't just, you know, blindly say oh it's gonna work out it's just a temporary cramp here and there or it's just a stomach ulcer um, it's not gonna you know exacerbate into something chronic and you might leave things unchecked so take care of yourself do you know do your body justice okay get a checkup see what's going on and uh, don't fear it because, you know, um, you, you need to know what you're dealing with so that you can have, you know, the proper tools to tackle it. And at the same time, without like, like once you give something a name, it allows you to um, know how to manage it. OK, so I feel like there some of us might be in denial about some health issues. And then others of us are not um, need to find an outlet for them. You need to find an outlet for them, okay? Um, what I feel, though, is emotionally, they're saying here with this Page of Cups, and because this is a spiritual advice reading, all the cards are going to pertain to you and not other people, okay? So I'm not reading this as other people. So uh, because of this card, this is the, um, it's the Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups. Um, it's basically telling you that there's this uh, emotional growth that needs to happen for you. And I feel it's really important for you to uh, really examine your motives, really examine, you know, what is your go-to gut instinct about a situation? How does the situation make you feel? Really examine your motives, really examine your feelings. Because I feel like a lot of the times... You're very go, 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 very directed with your energy, very enthusiastic. And on top of that, you're a fire sign. So I feel that a lot of the things that you do, it's, it's kind of like rather than filtering it through your heart, 
it goes straight through, you know, from your head to your hands. So that means, you know, the hands indicate actions, right? So it goes straight through the head. You, it, it goes through. You don't really take time to plan. You don't really take time to, you know, sit a moment and, and see, like, what are some potential pitfalls? It just goes straight to your hands and you start acting, okay? So I feel like there's a lot of action, but there needs to be a lot more reflection, and it's not a bad thing. I just feel that emotionally you need to get more in touch with your feelings and you need to really understand, you know, motives, objectives, like personal motives, personal objectives, okay? So until we know ourselves, until we really, really know ourselves, until we understand our entire motives, until we can really um, disseminate our, you know, ulterior motives or even our objectives, it's going to create challenges in our relationship. So until you really know yourself well, um, the relationship sector, you might encounter people who are also very lost, you know, where you're seeing each other through a mirror. You're like this, so you attract people who are also like that. So if you lack self-awareness, Sagittarius, I feel that you're going to also attract people who are themselves lacking in self-awareness. They might behave in a way that, um, you know, that, that, that portrays them a specific way. But if they're lacking in that self-awareness, their actions and their words don't really match up, okay? So I feel like if you've been having trouble in that regards, I feel that it's a, a moment, take a moment to really get to know yourself, get to know your motives, and especially give voice, give an outlet to these repressed pains, repressed angers. Just release them, okay? I do wish you all the best, and take care of yourself, okay? I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.